Hey everyone on Facebook, how's it going? I am struggling trying to get my Instagram working. Give me one second. Here we go. We're about to go live on Facebook and Instagram at the same time. Good morning, good morning. Happy Monday, guys. How's it going? Hope you're having a great day so far. It is a rainy day here in Houston, Texas, but it is still going to be a great day. Yes, because it is Monday of our second week of meal prep week. Yay! I'm so excited about this. So I had asked you guys previously, what questions do you have about meal prepping? And I got so many amazing questions, so many challenges that people have. And I wanted to bring you like some real solutions for all of those questions. So that's what we're doing this week. Every single day at 12 o'clock central time, I'm going to be going live on both Facebook and Instagram. On Facebook, it's my Get Nourished with Renata Facebook group. And I'll be answering one of your questions about meal prepping. So let's have a look and see who is here from the Instagram. Hi, Anne. How's it going? Okay, thank you for joining me today. <laughs> awesome, guys. Okay, so this is such a great question. The question today is, what do I make for sides when I'm meal prepping? So I think that a lot of the time we think that sides to go with our meals have to be really complicated or complex, and it really doesn't have to be. So I wanted to share with you a strategy of mine that I call my low or no prep sides. So my low or no prep sides are things that you would serve on the side of your mains or on the side of your lean proteins that you don't need to mess with that much. And it just makes life so much easier because you don't need to worry about it and you get a ton of help from the store. So this is actually one of the keys that I share in my three keys to meal prep like a pro webinar. So I have a couple of webinars open this week, which are on Wednesday and Thursday at one o'clock central, where I'm going to share with you my three keys to meal prep like a pro so you don't have to stress out, you don't have to feel that overwhelm or frustration. You can just head into the kitchen and knock out some awesome meal prepping in a really quick amount of time. So meal prepping, sides, cannot be simpler with this particular strategy, my lower no prep side. So I wanted to share with you three of them that I literally use every single week because it's not only great for dinners, it's also great for kids' lunch boxes or snacks during the day, um, you know, wherever you may be. So my first one is da -da -da -da, little cherry tomatoes. So these are basically just a dry pint of cherry tomatoes. Um, at my local grocery store, they have all different colors, all different like levels of sweetness. But what I love about these is you just simply wash them, and you can even wash them ahead of time, store them in the refrigerator on your countertop, uh, dry, so that you can quickly grab them as a snack. Now, these are so good, too, for kids' lunch boxes. My kids happen to love these, but these are also great for dipping in any kind of dip that you might have, like hummus is so good, because they have a beautiful burst of sweetness. And I love that contrast, especially with, I like to get um, a sriracha hummus, so it's like a super spicy hummus and a burst of sweetness from the cherry tomatoes. So good. But you don't have to just eat them raw. These would also be great if you wanted to create a really quick sauce to go with pasta, for instance. So you could just have a little olive oil in the pan, maybe some garlic, throw in some washed cherry tomatoes, maybe even a little fresh basil if you have that. That makes a really quick and easy sauce to throw over some pasta. Basically a 10 minute sauce and you don't need to even really cut anything. I mean, you might cut the garlic if you want to do that, but so, so easy. Okay, let's see if there's any questions from the Instagram. Hi, Randy, hi. Okay, so another one of my favorite low or no prep sides are these baby carrots. And I happen to have organics, but I'm not saying that you have to buy organic or anything. But I love baby carrots because they are so versatile. So not only for dipping into dips, which is great, or for kids' lunch boxes or snacks. You could literally take these. You could steam them in the microwave. You can take them out. They're already washed, right? So you can steam them in the microwave. You could also roast them in the oven to get that beautiful caramelized flavor on the outside of the carrots. You could braise them. There's literally so many things you can do with carrots, in addition to obviously cutting them up and using them in a variety of different recipes. Like you could cut them up and use them in soups or put them in a roast. So many things you could do with little baby carrots. And what I love is that they're already washed. They're already like a manageable size. So you don't need to spend that extra time cutting them up if you don't want to. So mini cut and peeled carrots or baby carrots, so, so good. 
And um, they're usually pretty inexpensive too. Sometimes you can find them in individual packets, which is great for if you're traveling. So as another additional tip there, if you are traveling, you're trying to find some kind of produce, like fruits or vegetables that are easy to bring with you, those carrots are also a great option. Okay, so now one of my last ones, we actually used this yesterday because we had a get together at the house and I made like some dips and we had a bunch of different vegetables to dip into it. So they are not in their original packaging. Instead, they're in a frozen, a frozen to um, Ziploc bag. <laughs> but let me take it out of the bag so you can see what I'm talking about. And they are sugar snap peas. I love these things. They are so crunchy, so sweet. And I think it's really great for kids too because they're like so manageable to eat. You can dip them in pretty much any dip that you have, but also so good in stir fries. So um, if you were doing like an Asian stir fry, which I had posted one earlier, like a couple weeks ago, I think, I did like a beef stir fry. So easy to grab a bag of these already washed from the store and just throw them into your stir fry. You don't need to do anything to them because they usually come pre-washed and already pre-trimmed, so you don't need to worry about that. Throw them into your stir fry, give them a couple minutes. They don't have to be cooked through. They can be eaten raw. So that's a really great option as well. I love just the versatility of having vegetables, that are already washed, so you don't need to worry about it. It's also great for like when you have little kids or you want to grab like a quick snack, you don't need to worry about having that additional step of washing and drying. You can keep them washed and keep them in your refrigerator. So those are three of my favorite low or no prep sides. Yay! Sugar snap peas, uh, as I showed previously. Yum. We also have cherry tomatoes. So good. And we have little kids. <laughs> <laughs> and we have some carrots. Okay, hey bud, give me a couple more minutes and then I'll open it, okay? I want the out there. So the kids got some yogurt. yogurt and they're very excited and they can't wait. So, there. And, okay. and my yogurt is um out there, okay. but um, okay. I'm pretty strong. Okay, he's pretty strong, so he's probably going to be able to open it. And I'm going to hit faster when I grow up. Oh, good. Okay, bye guys. So those are my low or no prep sides and those are also two of my children. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let's see if there's any questions. Oh, <laughs> okay. Granny said, yes, I love baby carrots. Hi, Arthur. Um, Anne said, those are the best. Tell me which one you're referring to, Anne. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it was everything. Maybe you're referring to me. Um, no, I'm kidding. Randy, thank you so much. Such good ideas. Thank you. I hope this really does help because um, one of my things in my course, which is called 30 minute meal prepping, is that I just don't want meal prepping to be so overwhelming for people. I think a lot of the times we think meal prepping needs to take like five hours on a Sunday where you have to like go to the grocery store or you have to go to the farmer's market and pick up the freshest, most organic like ingredients. Sure, if you want to spend that time doing it, you can, but I'm a huge advocate for just making things easier. And these kinds of things make it so easy and you don't need to stress out about it. You know it's good for you stuff. Um, so many micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, things that your body needs in order to be able to function properly are in fresh fruits and vegetables. And I love adding lots of these into my meals. Um, it gives you not only those micronutrients that we discussed, but it gives you lots of fiber to make sure your digestive system is working super well. So, um, so yeah, make sure you take a look at your produce aisle to find more ingredients like this that you can use for your low or no prep sides. Um, other things I like to use are cucumbers. So they're so easy, just wash and cut them up. I keep them in a container, cut up in the fridge constantly. Um, you know, other things you can do are all of those pre-washed produce like broccoli, cauliflower, you know, they even have cut up carrots or green beans, Brussels sprouts, so many different things are available in the store nowadays. But this is one of the strategies that I also have in my course, which is called 30 minute meal prep. So in 30 minutes, I wanted, wanted to be able to show you how easy it is to create lots of meals. So you don't need to spend hours and hours on a Sunday preparing like 500 meals for the entire week and then worrying that they're just going to go bad in the fridge because you know, you get bored of them. I do not want you to be bored of food. I love food and I want to show you how it can be easy, how it can be not complicated, and also how it can have lots and lots of flavor. So if you want to find out more about the course, you can head over to nourishwithrenata.com. There's also a link in my bio here on Instagram. After this Facebook video, I'll post the link as well so you can go ahead and check it out. 
And once again, if you want to know my three keys for meal prepping like a pro, I have two webinars this week, one on Wednesday and one on Thursday at 1 o'clock central. So I'm going to share with you my three keys to meal prep like a pro. It's a completely free webinar. You're going to get a free guide from it. Um, and it's just going to be so much fun to talk you through how to get into meal prepping if you haven't done it before, or how to make meal prepping even easier so that you don't need to stress out about it. Because the last thing that I want you to feel during the weekend, and especially like yesterday, if you're gearing up for a long week, and you're like face it, like staring down the barrel of meal prepping, thinking it has to be really complicated or really overwhelming, it doesn't have to be. Let me show you my three keys. Let me show you in my course, 30 minute meal prepping, how easy it can be. So. Thank you guys so, so much for joining in today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And um, let's see, tomorrow I'll be back with another question about meal prepping. If you have any other questions, please let me know. I wanna answer them for you. Okay, have an amazing Monday, guys. Have an amazing week if I don't get to see you, but obviously you're gonna be back tomorrow. I mean, yeah, duh. Let's see. Um, <laughs> Anne said she was referring to the snap peas and she also said, I too am the best. Oh, and okay, Anna. Anyway, guys, have an amazing, amazing day. I will see you tomorrow at 12 o'clock central for another episode of Meal Prep Week. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone on Instagram. Okay, bye, everyone on Facebook. Have a great day.